For our first example, we have a cable connected to the ground at B and a raised support at A. We're told that the slope of the cable is zero at B and the cable weight is 15 newtons per meter. We're also told that the total cable length is 58 meters and the distance of the span is 45 meters. We're asked to find the height of the cable system, so from B up to A. These are the two equations we're going to use to solve this problem. If you think you can figure it out, hit pause and see if you get the answer. The first thing we do is define our coordinate system. We put y up and x to the left. Next, we're ready to look for h. None of the relationships we know have an h in them directly, but we can use our deflection curve to put an h in. For this equation, we have a boundary condition where when x is equal to 45 meters, we know that y will be equal to h. So we can plug our known parameters into that equation, and we see that we can almost solve for h. The only thing we need is th, our constant horizontal tension. That's where this equation comes in. When x is equal to 45 meters, we're at the end of our system, so we know the value for s because we were told that the cable length is 58 meters. To find th, we use the trial and error approach, using different values for th until we find one that makes it so that both sides of the equation are equal to each other. When we do that, we find that th is equal to 534 newtons. Now all that's left to do is take that value and plug it into our deflection curve. and we get that h is equal to 32.4 meters. For example two, we have a cable suspended from points A and B. It has a self weight of 18 newtons per meter and we're asked to find the tension forces that happen at each of the supports. Because self weight is the only load acting on our system, we know that the cable will have a constant horizontal tension. Our first step is to come up with a plan. We split our system where the slope is zero, creating two different coordinate systems. These will let us use the relationships for cables under self weight that we already know. We start with the right hand side since we know the seg value. First, we'll use our deflection curve and boundary condition to find our horizontal tension. Then we'll find the cable length and use it to find the cable angle at B. From there, we can solve for our tension at support B. At B, X is 65 meters and Y is 12 meters. We put those into our deflection curve. Then through trial and error, we solve for a constant horizontal tension of 3,204 newtons. Next, we find the cable length from the origin to point B. We use that length in our tangent relationship to find the angle our cable has at the support. And that angle, as we've learned previously, is the maximum angle on this side of the cable. With some math, we get 20.5 degrees. Then we just plug our values into our final equation. We find that the tension at support B is equal to 3,420 newtons. For the left hand side, we already have our horizontal tension from doing the right side. So we start at step two. We find our cable length from the origin to point B. Then we find our maximum angle. And finally, we find the cable tension at support A. 
which means we're all done because we know the tension at both of our supports. Great work.